<laughs> what up, guys? What's up? Well, we got a new week starting off here. And I was going to start off with a question with Christmas time coming up. I guess we'll cover it here. Um, like, what's your favorite thing about Christmas? So this doesn't necessarily need to be video games. Uh, it reminds me of... Uh, there was a poll the other day in Stampede Gaming's uh, live stream. And he asked pretty much the same question. And I put presents as that was one of them. But what it really is, is like watching the kids open presents. Watching people in general open presents that you got for them and stuff like that. And this is going to kind of mix in with like, I watched, I got caught up on My Retro Life, which is a really awesome channel. I'm sure you guys know what it is. And um, he had videos about, or a video about him getting his first Nintendo for Christmas, like the full story. And it was just really cool to see, like, a little kid that excited and stuff like that. Talk to Santa and all that stuff. It was really cool. It brought back a lot of memories. And I guess, I guess what it is, it's, it's, that, it's that, like, true happiness that these people get from when you get them something or watching your kids go crazy. I mean, that's just a really cool feeling when your kids are little and they get you up in the morning and they're all excited. It's just a really good day. That That's why Christmas is really awesome is because, like, nobody has to go to work mostly. I mean, I think pretty much everybody has off. Um, you get to enjoy each other. You Everybody's getting gifts. Everybody's doing nice things for each other. And basically, I just love, like, the positivity of it, you know, of... Just pure happiness all, all over the place. Like, everybody's getting something. Everybody's having fun. Nobody has to do anything. So we're all just chilling. You know, that that's what's fun about it. But I, I would say that would equate to, like, the presents. Like, watching the kids get them and open them up. Getting presents is cool, too. I'd say it's more of just, like, a... You know, a kid thing, though. You know, a kid thing of of wanting to get gifts and stuff like that. Um, when you get older, I, I get stuff too, but I mean, I get whatever I need during the year. <laughs> so it's not like, you know, Christmas is like a really big deal or something like that. <laughs> so it's really cool to buy stuff for the kids though and go out and get things for them, especially when they like really enjoy something. And, and, that, and that's something that's also leaving my life here is I got a kid that's 15 and a kid that's 8. And so every year you see the magic goes a little bit more. Like my 15-year-old, the magic's like already gone. Uh, he just wants money. He just wants, you know, these big expensive things. You know, he usually figures out what he's getting. And there's just really no way to hide any of the stuff, right? But when, we, when they were little kids, though, it was like... You got to hide the gifts, and they all were excited about it. They're all, you know, wanting all these different things, and and their stuff wasn't that expensive, so you could get them a whole bunch of shit. You know, they had like ten plus gifts gifts each to open and stuff, and it's just harder when a fifteen year old wants something that's three hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, one hundred fifty dollars. You know, it's like, geez, dude. You know, so you can only get them like three or four things. You know, but. Um, but yeah, every year, even as Nathan gets older, that's my youngest one. It's like the magic leaves a little bit every time. Like he's just still not as excited as he was like when he's a little kid. And he just can't believe he has presents and he's happy with anything he gets. <laughs> it's just funny. And, you know, you can get him Play-Doh and stuff and they love it, you know, where that's getting kind of like old now. And he doesn't really want that, you know, it's... And, you know, it's just different, but but I will say it's definitely the gift giving and watching people open things that you got them and see how happy they are, and that's what makes me feel good, and that's that's what I really enjoy about Christmas. And then we'll uh, take care of another one, too. Uh, Gaming Off the Grid asked me a while back what my favorite light gun games are. So what you like about Christmas, what's your favorite thing about Christmas, and your favorite light gun game. 
I'm gonna go with an old classic here, and that's that Terminator 2 arcade machine. I just played it the other day. I went to an arcade after work, got out a little early on Friday, and I went to this arcade that's by my work, and they had it, and it was in super good condition, so everything worked, and it was really fun to play, and I guess that's just, I just like that one. It's, it's really cool. It's kind of a longer game, and um, I really enjoy it. Uh, other than that, though, Carnival. Carnival, I'm a huge fan of. Uh, but you, you can't find as many, you know, ca uh, as many machines of that that, that, that that work very well. There's always something wrong with the guns and shit. Carnival's really fucking cool. Um, and to be honest, even with going back to the Terminator 2 game, I really like the Genesis version, actually. The Genesis version has a fucking really good version of that game. It's really fun. And uh, so I kind of enjoy that one. Um, I know a lot of people say House of the Dead and, and stuff like that. I'm never a huge fan. I mean, it's okay. Uh, it's funny and stuff. And, but that's not that's not my thing, I guess. I, I definitely like the Terminator one better and stuff. You know, you know they really missed uh, an opportunity with The Punisher. Why didn't they ever make a Punisher light gun game, you know? I've tried the Alien one. That was pretty cool. I've tried the Terminator Salvation one. That was pretty cool. I tried a Rambo one. That was really cool. But I think I like the old classic, the Terminator 2 one. Um, never been really big on, like, Area 51 and Time Crisis and Lethal Enforcers. Like, it's okay. But I like uh, Terminator 2 and Carnival better. Um, so I'm talking more of like, and I think this counts, I, I like more of the arcade ones, you know, where you're standing there and you got the big gun and everything. If I was doing at home stuff, I haven't really played a lot of at home ones. So it's probably just kind of unfair for me to even vote there, you know, if we're only talking at home. But I think they were just saying favorite light gun game, like period, you know. So those are the ones that come to mind when I think of light gun games. I'm not a huge light gun player, you know? <clears throat> I know Gaming Off The Grid, they really like it and stuff, and I like it too, it's just, it's not my thing. Probably because I don't get to play co-op very often. Those guys play co-op literally every week and stuff. So, you know, they can do uh, light gun games all the time, you know? But, uh, yeah, light gun games are becoming like a thing of the past, that's for sure. They don't do that much anymore, which is surprising, you know. I'm sure there was a lot of good ones on the Wii, right? Because they had that gun thing and, and the, the Wiimote worked pretty well as it. I'm sure it works really well for that. But, um, yeah, yeah, I'd have to say Terminator 2 Arcade, man. I love that game. It's really cool. No, 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 oh! The only, the only missions that do suck on that game, though, are the ones where you got to protect. You got to protect the truck, and then you got to protect the van from the helicopter. It's really annoying. That That is annoying, but it's tough. It's actually a challenge. I guess it's kind of fun once you pull it off. You know, you're like, hell yeah, you know. But, uh, yeah, anyway, guys, I guess that's kind of my picks for that. Let me know how you feel. What do you think about that? I'm going to head to work. Um, yeah, big news coming up, probably. Um, not probably. I got it. So we will see what happens with that. And uh, I'm looking forward to Christmas coming up here. It's going to be freaking awesome. Week off of work, dude. Full week. Paid. Isn't that fucking sick? Um, it's actually 10 days. Isn't that super sick? I think it's because just the way that Christmas falls this year, you know, on New Year's. But anyway, guys, hope you're doing well. Hope you had an awesome weekend. And I will talk to you later.